Next, another music tradition which is under threat. Teaching unions say music education in our schools and colleges has been vandalised by cutbacks. Leicestershire has been at the forefront of training talented youngsters for more than 60 years. Well, Simon Hare has been finding out if we're in danger of losing the musical maestros of the future. Richard Bissell of the London Philharmonic Orchestra, a Loughborough lad, in concert here at the Royal Albert Hall, a man at the very top of his profession. Back in the early 70s, Richard was a member of the Leicestershire Schools Orchestra, which worked with some of the biggest names in classical music. My contract with the London Symphony Orchestra, with the LSO, uh, requests, quite politely, that I not conduct any other orchestra within London other than the LSO. But today I think I've found a way around that. So for a BBC TV programme, the biggest conductor of his day swapped his own LSO, the London Symphony Orchestra, for Richard's LSO. I remember being the little lad sitting on the end with all these what seemed to be very grown-up people next to me. I can vaguely remember just the general uh, filming of it. Don't you rush, don't you rush. It's all I lived for. I start school Monday and I'd just be ticking off the days till Saturday morning. I strongly suspect that if I hadn't gone through that system at that time, that I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing now. But are we giving youngsters today the same opportunities? They don't really care about us. When Castle College in Beeston faced a major cut in its funding last summer, it closed its music department. I just feel a little bit abandoned, really, because they carried me for a year and I've grown... Like, amazingly, I didn't even expect to learn so much so quickly. Of course, food is what she wanted to do, and, and it's local to us, so um, I feel really let down by the place. Students like Emma had their course cancelled halfway through. They faced giving up or going further afield. A recent Ofsted report concluded only half of music lessons in schools are good or outstanding. Not surprising, says one teaching union, considering the vandalism of music education in the past. Richard Bissell's own musical education began here at Rosebury Street School in Loughborough. Today it's derelict and empty, but Richard's old head teacher used to ensure it was filled with music. He used to play classical music in school assemblies and that's the first time I probably heard an orchestra play and it just went from there. I do everything to the school. I was lucky that in the 60s and 70s when I was growing up, Leicestershire was very forward with its thinking as regards music. The country's first ever school's music service was founded in Leicestershire, all thanks to one man. I know it's altered their life, and there are many that I can tell you of who, because of music, have become different people. Well, he got me, he found me at this school and said, come along to our junior orchestra. He gave me a free county French horn, which my parents wouldn't have been able to afford. If you have an opportunity, if it's given to you free, you can try it, and that might be it. Flick the switch and you're off. Right, look at this. That's right. It's you and me in the garden with my first horn. Richard's parents still live in Loughborough. Sport is laid on, isn't it? Everybody can do sport. Yes. Why shouldn't they be able to do music? You know, yes. you, and, and I think that was the, the good thing about it, wasn't it? Yes. I mean, I didn't expect Richard to be musical. I, when he was born, I didn't think, oh, oh, he's going to be musical. It just developed. The other LSO was alive and well, but this month the music service Eric Pinkett established lost its county council subsidy leaving the prospect of cuts or parents paying more. What 
what it's about, of course, is giving people access to that experience and that quality of music making, which then hopefully will stay with them for their lives. The vision was here and it's thrived ever since as a result of that. And there's huge support locally for it. Some people might be out there destined to be great musicians but don't get the opportunity because they can't afford it. Richard also teaches the next generation at university but worries where they're coming from. Over the last 10 years or so, I've noticed more and more applicants are coming from specialist private music schools. They're all private fee-paying schools and fewer players from your state system. But it's not all bad news. Nationally, £330 million is currently being invested in music education, like here at Ilkeston in Derbyshire, where youngsters from two schools are staging a concert. It gives them a lot of self-confidence. It gives them a chance to express themselves. It's part of growing up for many young people. You know, they get a chance to play football, they get a chance to do tennis, but there's not so many chances for them to actually put into practice the instruments that they've been learning. What's the dream? Make it big. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if you've got subjects that you enjoy, like music and PE and all of them, then it'll encourage you to come into school more. You can express your feelings through music yeah. as well, can't you? It's a that's stress reliever for the, the drummer. Yeah. <laughs> and remember Emma, whose music course was scrapped? She's now finishing her studies at another college. Tonight, she and her band are playing the Victoria Inn in Derby, a venue that's hosted many groups before they became big. I love coming to band practice because, and then building up to these gigs. It's, it's the best. <laughs> it's very hard to explain to somebody who, who isn't into music that sort of... Uh, but the emotional pull that, that music has on you, uh, it just, it's so exciting and it, it lifts you. The love and the joy of music is in most people if they're given an opportunity. Not everybody's going to go on to be able to pursue it as a career, but if schools don't bring that out, even on a very basic level like getting the whole school singing, then it's very sad. Principal Horn of the Orchestra, Richard Bissell.